will see some strange things in our little show. But nothing you've seen so far could have possibly prepared you for our final act. The residents have always been extremely interested in the evolution of technology as it relates to their art. They're not techno geeks per se, but I think that what they discovered is technology moves faster than culture and this gap develops and pioneers of experimentation can find opportunities to create new work and develop new audiences by jumping into that gap. They were pioneers of the Laserdisc format. They were pioneers of the CD-ROM format. They did this very innovative podcast experiment. So they've constantly worked to create new art for evolving technology. Freak Show to me was just a quantum leap in what a lot of other people were doing. The idea of a CD-ROM, which had enormous limitations, especially in retrospect, they were able to just take it to a place that was like so unusual and uncanny and kind of seductive. The residents took the whole crass idea of the business of art and they turned it into their life and they created a 360 platform in their relationship with their fans. So the Cryptic Corporation as a business is a self-perpetuating platform for the art of the residents. They went directly to their fans and they created a world that the fans could invest in. At the end of the day, I think the residents recognize that you can't continue to make uh, work the way that they make work if you don't figure out how to do it as a business. Then you can't separate the success of the residents as artists with the success of the residents as art business people. The residents were pioneering the path for artists in the current generation. 